videos is actually going to be about shopping. Now you're probably wondering, sewing, shopping, I don't get it. Um, but actually, you know, sewing is a way of cutting down on cost and there are ways you can shop that also cut down on your spending and your cost. And some of your shopping can be used for your sewing. So I wanted to share some tips that I have for, for shopping. Um, cause I've had a lot of people say, you know, wow, you find all these great deals. Wow, you're really lucky. You know, you should take me shopping with you. And really, I don't have any super shopping skill, superpower, anything like that, that other people don't have. It's just, I know the tips and tricks to it. So I wanted to share them with everyone today. Now, my first tip is when buying, you know, clothing, retail, things like that, always shop sales. There was actually, there was a dress that I wanted really bad and it was $14, okay, I'm cheap. It was full price $14 and I wouldn't buy it. But I held out and I actually ended up getting two dresses for the price of one. It was toward the end of the season. And that's another thing, shop clearances at the end of seasons. And there's also coupons. Now the jeans I'm wearing right now, I actually bought for $2.17. And how I did that is they were at the end of the season, so they were already marked down, I believe it was 60% off. And then with JCPenney's, they sent out a coupon, $10 off a purchase of $10 or over. And so using my coupon, I bought these jeans for $2.17. Now the only thing was, they had my size, but they didn't have the right length. I needed average length and all they had left was long. That's okay. I know how to sew. My mom knows how to sew. We're good. So I actually, I bought these, I think it was three years ago, and I talked my mom into rehemming them for me, and so now they're my favorite pair of jeans. Generation Gap, a mother-daughter Etsy store home to all things vintage, handmade, and supplies. Okay, my favorite place to shop is thrift stores. I know that kind of sounds nerdy, you know, oh gee, thrift stores, what can you find at a thrift store? Lots of amazing stuff. There are, I have a thrift store I go to that has 50 cent Friday and Saturdays. Every Friday and Saturday, all the clothing in the store, 50 cents, no matter what. I bought three prom dresses for $1.50. That's pretty cool. With thrift stores, bag sales. My friend and I, we went to the thrift store. We thought it was gonna be 50 cent Friday, but they were actually doing a bag sale instead, and it was everything you could stuff into a garbage bag for $5. Okay, my friend and I, we're both costumers, we're both photographers, we both do, you know, we model for each other's photo shoots. We can find things to stuff in a bag for $5. We ended up getting this prom dress, this trench coat, these pants, and this, and this, and this, and that, and about 18 other items. So yeah, we totally got our money's worth out of the garbage bag. There's also, um, thrift stores will often mark things down after they've been there too long. Um, when the quilt I mentioned in a couple episodes ago that I paper pieced, my mom had been doing a quilt about that time, which was a log cabin quilt, and she was using plaid shirts she was getting at thrift stores. I wanted to do it too, so we hit the thrift stores, and once clothes had been there, I believe it was four weeks, they marked them down. And so we got a ton of plaid shirts for a quarter or 50 cents each. So just because you want to sew something, because you want to make a quilt, you want to make clothes, you don't have to go out and buy really expensive fabric. Another thing is kids clothes. Okay, some people are really tiny and they can wear kids clothes. I'll admit it, every once in a while I can. Most of the time I can't. However, I had a friend come to me and she wanted me to make her a newsboy hat. 
and she wanted it out of camo. Well, I got the idea. I hit the thrift store, headed to the kids section, because they had actually started marking down all of the kids' clothes to a quarter each. So what I did, I found a pair of camo pants, and she was super thrilled. I liked it so much, I kept the second room for myself. Some other things that I've found that I've used for materials are um, some Wrangler work pants. I made other hats out of those. The um, huge pink jumper that I got in the bag sale, I plan on making hats and maybe a bag out of that. I think it's really cute and people think it's cool. It's upcycling. It's obvious upcycling. So people can really feel really great wearing it because not only are they helping the environment, but also it's definitely a one-of-a-kind piece. You know, no other hat is going to look exactly like that. When you're shopping thrift stores, you kind of just have to know what you're looking for. Um, in the past year alone, I have found a 45-year-old sewing machine that I got for $8, a 98-year-old sewing machine I got for $4.50, both in perfect working condition. I also got um, three 100% leather skirts for $3 each. I used those. Um, I cut them up and made jewelry out of them. I also found this purse by The Ecoist that retails for $85. I found it for $5 at a thrift store and the only way I knew what it was was because I had seen a video on YouTube like three days before I hit the thrift store. Otherwise I would have just been like, well, what kind of purse is that? That's weird. But since I knew what it was and knew how much it cost, I was willing to pay $5 for it. So when you're thrifting, you kind of have to know what things are, you know, know, know a few brands, know a few um, unique items, things like that. Um, and you know, now with technology, everyone has an iPhone and whatever that stuff, the internet on their phone, I don't have it. A lot of people do. And if you have that, you know, while you're standing there in the thrift store, send someone a picture who you think might know. Like, if you see something and you know somebody who specializes in whatever item that is, send them a picture. Say, hey, is this worth the five bucks it's priced? You know, look on the internet real fast. So, but don't be afraid to look around. Um, it's great to get to know the workers. Um, I actually became friends with some of the workers at the thrift store I really like uh, in the town where I used to go to school. I made friends with the workers and, you know, they would tell you what times are best to shop. Um, sometimes they'll let you know what new items they've got in that they haven't put on, on the shelves yet. Anyway, I hope these tips have helped you. I hope that you look at shopping in a new way and I hope you find a lot of great things at, you know, just clothing stores, at thrift stores, and I hope you find some things you can use in your future sewing. So don't forget to subscribe, leave comments, and I'll see you next week. Bye.